Have you seen the pretty patterns printed on the Stampin' Up! Watercolor Wonder designer note cards? They're printed on watercolor paper and they're about to meet the Inktense watercolor pencils. Here's a closer view of the patterns from the Watercolor Wonder designer note cards and they do come with envelopes. And this is the one I'm going to be using today because I had made a card with the Vivid Vases stamp set and this paper from the Watercolor Wonder Designer paper. And that got me thinking about my note cards and that I had this and how well they would go together. But what I need to do for this and what I'm going to show you today is masking. This stamp was too big unless I wanted the words to get down into the pattern and I didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask that off. I do need to stamp this in a waterproof black and that is my basic black stamping pad so the image doesn't bleed when I'm watercoloring it. So I have my basic black classic stamping pad. We're going to ink that all up. So we've got great coverage. What we have to remember to do is remove the black. If not, wouldn't that be a lovely mess on there? So remove our tape. <laughs> and come over here and we're just going to go ahead and stamp it. Oh, that's looking good. Let's hold it down. Get, because this paper is coarse, it's not like the Whisper White or very vanilla. So I want a really good image. So let me just hold it down a little bit extra long. Make sure I press everywhere. And Oh, isn't that beautiful? So now we're ready to watercolor. We just need to let it dry or encourage it along with the heat tool on the first setting. Stampin' Up! retired their watercolor pencils and a customer was telling me how much she loved her Ink Tense watercolor pencils. So I'm going to show you real quickly how they worked best for me on the watercolor paper. I have my aqua painter and just a napkin so I need to squeeze it to get it going. Once I see water coming out I'm all done. <laughs> I don't need to squeeze anymore. And instead of coloring and then spreading around, for me it worked better to take my aqua painter to watercolor pencil and just color in. And if I wanted to, I could scribble on here now, get a little bit more intense so I can do some shading. Okay, and so that's all. Uh, clean, in between now I'll need to squeeze maybe, and brush that off, and change colors. And they are a lot of fun to play with. And I just kept adding my colors. And see, once that black is dry, the black is not bleeding. We can go outside the lines. All kinds of fun. And then for the vases, I chose a black. And I'm getting different shades with it, thinning it out. There we go. And just having a good time. They are a lot, a lot of fun. Here we have a red. So you're getting the idea. It's just easy and fun. You know, we can do this also with uh, the stamp pads. But she just loved these so much that I want to try them. Because the watercolor uh, pencils were a favorite of some of my customers. And there we go. Here's my finished Vivid Vases note card. It was so quick and easy to do. Now, the Vivid Vases stamp set and the Watercolor Wonder Designer note cards with envelopes <laughs> are from the 2014 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. The Occasions catalog runs through June 1st, 2014. And you can order both of these in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. So now you know how easy it is to omit part of a stamp 
If you like learning new stamping tips, I invite you to join my newsletter, the Stamping Smiles newsletter. Every month I write three articles with stamping tips, techniques, and or tutorials. It's free to join. You just go to my website, www.stampingsmiles.com and look for the sign up box in the upper right hand corner. And I will send you my newsletters along with Stampin' Up! Specials, keeping you informed with what's going on there, any specials of my own, and when I release any new classes. So join the Stamping Smiles mailing list by going to www.stampingsmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.